Welcome friends, Lost Scarf here, and it's time for the Loot Crate, and it's the October one, my bad for being so late on it, life is busy, that's unfortunately how it be, and we're wearing last month's shirt, the uh, Tony Stark motor racing one, so there you go. So, here it is, our Loot Crate. Okay, so, let's open this sucker up, shall we? And, okay, oh, I see blood spatter, okay, so, what do we got here? Let's move this box this way, okay. What do we got? Here we got. Really? Really? We got an ad! Walking Dead Returns! Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, Negan, okay. Alright, so let's see here. So we got... Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface? Yep, yeah, we got Leatherface. That is weird. That is, that is weird. That is, that is weird. I've never... Like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like... Back in the day, people lost their shit over this movie. Oh my god. I, uh... Wasn't that big of a fan. Then the new version? I, uh, wasn't that big of a fan. <laughs> Both ways. So we got this guy, so it's a little pretty soft. Let's see, can I open it up? I'll leave him in there. So it's a pretty soft guy. Okay. Next one. What the hell is this? Oh. Camp. Yup. Camp Crystal Lake up in here. There you go. Now who knows who this is? Box down. Who knows who this be? Who know? Who know? Who know? Who know? Who dare know? Crystal Lake. So, this of course is Friday the 13th up in here. And... A funny, like, I'm surprised we don't get the mask of, uh, of, uh, Jason, right? Like, I'm surprised that wasn't, I guess that would be the, a cliche thing to do is get the mask of Jason. That's pretty cool right here. You'd use this for, I feel like, a Halloween decoration for sure. Not bad, there we go. There you go, right there. So, of course, that's the shirt. Okay, so let's just show the shirt already. Oh my god, I know what I'm so Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Negan Sluggers. Oh my god. There were like a dozen Negans at Comic-Con. They did the whistle. It was pretty cool. It was really creepy. There was one guy who just stood on his own, just holding the bat out and just doing that whistle. He just kept doing it for like, 10 minutes. It was creepy as shit. So there's the Negan shirt right there. Negan Sluggers. Let me see if we get that light there. There you go. There's an angle right there. Negan Sluggers for The Walking Dead. AMC on the bottom there. Nothing on the back. Again, nice material. Oh my god. If I wear this to the gym, I'm get so many people wanting to talk about Walking Dead. The problem is I don't watch the show. I uh, just didn't care for it. And uh, now you know that. Now you know. So I'm going to have to read up on Negan if I wear this at the gym. There, Negan. Okay, so, what's next? We have, what the hell? Oh my god, what, why? This is weird. Oh, you got to see this part of it. Yee, <laughs> yee, okay, there we go. Yee, there you go. So, Nightmare on Elm Street chopsticks. There you go, there's the angle. There you go, Nightmare on Elm Street chopsticks with the Freddy glove. What the hell? Now, these were pretty creepy. Like, this is, seriously, this is all very much nostalgia. This is old school, just practical effects, just horror going on up in here. And if you want to be really impressed with some horror and practical effects, you look at freaking Friday the 13th. Not, <laughs> not around Elm Street. You know, I actually like Friday the 13th, uh, Jason vs. Freddy. Freddy vs. Jason. I like that movie. It was really, it did a lot of the old cliches. It wasn't a great movie, but it worked as a, just a tribute to both uh, franchises for sure, in my opinion. So there you go with this. There. And what else we got here? Huh. All right. We got a book. <laughs> what? Okay. A book. The Legion of Regrettable Villains. All right. Okay. So what is this? Featuring the 50 strangest supervillains in the history of comics. The Loot Crate Edition, okay. Uh, every hero needs a villain, but not every villain comes with a cool costume, sinister pseudonym, or functioning death ray. Oh, yeah, let's just randomly open the page here, and we get... I don't know. Uh, here you go. Whatever this is. Pocket Comics! It's a Nazi! Alright. Uh, it's, it's Satan. <laughs> it's a Nazi thing called Satan! Let me get the better angle there. There you go. Nazi thing called Satan! So there you go, that's fun. What even? So, oh, it's across the ages. It's like Silver Age. So here's the Silver Age section right there. But, uh, there you go. 
Silver Egg section. Oh my god, there's like a pirate guy and a- oh my god. So it's just different ages. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Silver streak. I thought it's silver steak, but oh, this side. Here we go. Doctor Dracula. What? Doctor Dracula. It was like a Batman with a gun with wings. Oh, here's a villain. The Black Tarantula. Okay. Well, that's fun. That's a fun. So this is a fun read right here. And uh, you, you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Just for fun. Sinister Simians! Oh my god. Wow, look at that. Okay, so... Huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the... Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, the pin. So the pin is Mike Myers. Halloween, there you go. There you go. I do the, si the, the soundtrack for Halloween, but I can't remember how to do it. Okay, so there you go. And what you get in the box? Dumbbell mask! Holy crap, that's pretty nice detail going on there. And get a good look at it. Not without the glare. There we go. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Oh man, that's some nice detail. Ooh, and you get like a string you can put on to wear it. Ooh, I am. Ugh, okay. So, let's look at the book. Arr, right there. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, there's the mask. I, like, at Comic-Con, there's makeup artists, and oh my god, the, uh, the makeup artists for the zombie stuff? Wow, it's scary looking as crap, man. There you go, Negan. You got a douche in a shirt, and then, Negan, <laughs> I'm just kidding, whoever that guy is. There you got Negan right there, just getting started. Now we got the Leatherface going on over here, Leatherface doll. Now what is this about? Would you survive? So you make your choices in these, uh, in these questions, and it tells you whether you'd live or die. Five questions. I'd probably die. Okay, let's see here, and then Jason, best kills and weapons, so he's killed a lot of people over the years. Jason has killed a lot of peeps over the years, as for damn sure. So, he's used sauna rocks? I don't remember, oh, part 8, Jesus Christ. There's Jason X, liquid nitrogen, there's so many kills. Oh, there's even more, mining drill, party horn, really? A sleeping bag, I remember sleeping bag. His bare hands, electric guitar, oh, just speaking of Freddy vs. Jason, there's one where he just knifes a guy in the bed, and just to add insult to injury, he just takes the bed and just crunches the guy in the bed. Like, holy crap. Like, I remember that kill. Like, that was crazy. Mega crates. All right. And uh, other things. Uh, pictures with it. So, let's see here. Hmm. Mini Mega Crate came with a lunchbox, and How to Survive a Horror Movie. And Mega Crate came with a uh, TV. Walking Dead, uh, Messenger Bag, Freddy vs. Ja ah, Freddy vs. Jason, uh, Statue, Halloween Complete Collection Set, and Ace, oh my god, Friday the 13th Scarf, so, right there, all those things, that's interesting. Okay, so, the Loot Crate, so, what would I actually use? Considering horror is not my jam, um, none of it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so, Leatherface, okay. Uh, no, no. There's all one. Who out of you would want this Leatherface plush? And then, like, this would just be really good for, like, Halloween house kind of thing. Camp of Crystal Lake. That'd be great. The villain book might be good for a LARF, though. A LARF, I say. Like, this could be fun. Just reading all, like, oh my god, these are some silly ass super villains. That might be fun. Then you've got, of course, the uh, chopsticks. I, no, <laughs> I cannot, uh. I remember a lot of the kills from those movies. Like, I watched these when I was a kid. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I... No. No. No way. Okay. And then, uh, the Negan shirt. Like, this is a nice quality. I could wear this at the gym. I just have to now talk about The Walking Dead. The problem is my only knowledge of Walking Dead comes in the comic, and I know the TV show's way different, so I, I don't know. So there you go. So that is the loot crate. Next one is going to be uh, Magic because of Doctor Strange, I believe. And that should be coming out pretty soon in November. The deadline for uh, is the 19th to order it, and we have it ordered, so we'll get the box eventually. And there you go. So that is the loot crate for October. Sorry for being so damn late on that. I hope you had fun watching this and seeing these things. Uh, I've seen all these horror movies, but I don't, like, they're not my, they're not my jam. I've just seen them because you got to see them at least once. 
Jason one of course not Jason one. It's called uh, what was it called? The original Friday Thirteenth. So Friday Thirteenth, uh, the first one. You know that's uh, that's a crazy one. And then there's just too many of them. I Jason goes to New York. Jason in space, which is Jason X. Just oh my god, there's so many Jasons. There's so many. Fr- there are just so many of these. Like we complain about sequels now, like. Our movies went nuts with the freaking sequels up in here, man. Damn, there were so many Friday the 13s, so many Halloweens, so many uh, was it, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. There's just so many of them. Freaking Hellraiser. There's nothing Hellraiser in here. I'm surprised. Like, they can't just do only the classics, I suppose. But I am surprised at the lack of Hellraiser. I would have, like, a little puzzle box would have been pretty cool to see or something like that. But I, you can't get every single classic, I guess. Like, another one would be uh, Puppet Master, but that was more like, B movie or C movie would you call Puppet Master? I'm not sure. Puppet Master was my jam, though. That was creepy as crap little dolls, but I still liked it for some reason. Um, like, I remember, like, Puppet Master 4, where they're the good guys. It's weird. Puppet Masters are good guys and bad guys. It's weird what they do with them in the future uh, with those. And, um, yeah, yeah, there you go. So that is the loot box, or the loot, not loot box. That is the loot crate right there for, uh, Halloween, which was horror, of course it's going to be. And, uh, well, I had fun opening this box and showing everything out, and I can't wait to see the next box, and I had fun doing this video. Hope you have fun watching it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Let's come by, and see you next time.